how can we manage conflict between people who have different opposing goals <coughs> there is no harm every all the other persons will have different opposing goals there is no doubt about it the most important thing is goals may be different but what we have to see is the positive aspect always try to the positive side of others so there is a book nurturing relationship art of sharing and caring uh, in which i had given quoted holy mother sharada devi that if you want peace of mind don't look at the faults of others try to see the positive points in others kabir says bura jo dekhan main chala bura na mila koi jo dil apna dekha mujhse bura na koi when we try to see inside then we come to know oh there are so many faults so holy mother says don't look at the faults of others and if you want to see faults then try to see the faults within yourself and you will get so many faults that whole life will go in in removing those faults so rather than looking up on others so the main point is try to see the positive aspect each and every human being is potentially divine that is one swami vekan told is very true each and every human being is potentially divine there is infinite potential in that and there is a divinity at present maybe that divinity there is a great a screen has come which is very thick in some person screen may be thin it's a question of thickness of the screen nothing else but inside every human being there is that center of consciousness kabir also says मोह को कहा तू ढूंढे बंदे मैं तो तेरे पास में खोजोगे तो अभी मिलूंगा पल भर की तलाश में दैट गॉड इज प्रेजेंट इन एवरी ह्यूमन बींग इन साइड भगवदगीता ऑल्सो सेज ईश्वर सर्वभूता नाम रिद्देश अर्जुन तिष्ठति ब्राह्मय सर्वभूता नी यंत्र अर्जुन नि माया सो द गॉड इज प्रेजेंट इन एवरी ह्यूमन बींग सो ही इज प्रेजेंट डिविनिटी इज प्रेजेंट सो मे बी टूडे द स्क्रीन मे बी लिटल बोट थिक but it basically all have got that divinity and each and every human being would have some positive aspects some negative aspects when the positive aspects are more we say a good person when the negative aspects are more is there but how sever a bad person me maybe he must have got some good qualities so holy mother despises try to see the good qualities in others then only you can get along better with others don't try to do the negative qualities there are many people other people to see the negative qualities but you try to see the positive aspects the positive aspects and how holy mother get along you just understand we say that oh uh, you use mouse are staying in ashram and so naturally you will have a lot of peace of mind but you don't know what happens in our houses there is mahabharata going on and there's lot of struggle lot of uh, fight between the members family members and all that you cannot imagine then i say yes that is true but what about holy mother holy mother also was living in the house she practiced the same thing but in spite of that she practiced spiritual practices she said i used to do one like japam in in that atmosphere and what type of people she was handling there was pagli mami the mad aunt surbala 100% mad and her daughter radhu 50% mad and two nieces maku and nalini 25% mad <laughs> and golapma 12.5% mad always shouting with these people holy mother is driving and she says i don't know what is a restlessness of mind her mind is always peaceful how is she getting along with others so that is the life of life and mrs sarada devi great lesson when we talk about interpersonal relationships so all these examples i have given is very small book nurturing relationships art of sharing and caring get go through that book that will be helpful <coughs>